barbecuepitboys.com. Today we're cooking up a barnyard roast at the pit, and it's real easy to do. All right, for this recipe, you're going to need a ham steak, all right? And uh, you know all about these. Get yourself a ham steak. You can get it at the deli counter. And uh, you're also going to need a boneless chicken breast, just like that. You know all about that, right? Get yourself a boneless chicken breast. And here I have some beef steak, all right? This here happens to be uh, some uh, flank steak, but you can use sirloin. You can use a round. Get what steak you like here. Now, let's, uh, let's prepare this recipe here. And the first thing we're going to do is pound out this chicken breast, all right? We want to make it thinner. We're going to get it down to maybe half inch, three quarter inch, all right? And uh, by pounding out like this, it's going to help tenderize it a bit, all right? Simple enough. All right, now, here, as I said, I've got some flank steak, and uh, we're going to need to tenderize it, all right? And uh, here I've got uh, one of those meat tenderizers. You've seen these before. This here has got 45 knife blades every time I push into this steak, and this here will tenderize it real quick. Now, you can use a fork if you want, but this uh, meat tenderizer makes it a hell of a lot easier. Now, what we're going to do is uh, make a marinade, all right? And uh, part of the uh, tenderizing process here is to make yourself a good marinade, all right? So uh, I've got a one-gallon plastic bag here. We're going to make the marinade in here. And here I'm throwing in three stalks of green onion, all right? Now, you can just use regular onion you want, but three stalks of green onion. And here I've got some garlic, crushed garlic cloves, all right? I've got about maybe six or eight in there, all right? Now, for this marinade, you're going to need some soy sauce. And I'm putting in about uh, half a cup of soy sauce. And this will add that salty flavor, all right, to this marinade. And here we're adding about one-third cup of lemon juice. And this here will also help tenderize that beef and also that chicken. It'll break down those meat fibers in there, all right? And here I've got some olive oil. I'm going to pour about one half cup of olive oil into this uh, marinade bag right here. And this here will also help tenderize that meat. You gotta remember that flank steak is one tough piece of meat. It's got plenty of flavor. So if you can get flank steak, it's good. If not, you can use sirloin steak. You could use a round steak. Now here I've got some uh, Worcestershire sauce and we're going to put about one third cup in there. Oh yeah. This is going to be a real good marinade. Now, this here works really good just uh, for marinating chicken breasts or uh, steaks or pork chops. All right, now, here I've got some honey. And I'm going to put about one tablespoon of honey in there. Oh, yeah. Now, there's one last ingredient you want to add to this. We're going to put in some fresh ground black peppercorn gotta have some black pepper in this marinade about one tablespoon will work good now if you've never had a barnyard roast before you definitely gotta check this out this is some good eating at the pit all right give that marinade a good mix <clears throat> Man. like I said we want to set it let it sit overnight or at least 15 hours and through the miracle of time whoa, this uh, steak and chicken breast has been marinating now for like I said about 15 hours and this is what it's gonna look like oh yeah man we're just gonna wipe off some of that excess uh, marinade on there just like that oh man it looks good enough to eat already Here's that chicken breast. Oh yeah. This marinade works really good for boneless chicken breasts. Now, what I'm gonna do here before putting a roast together is I'm going to partially cook this chicken breast. And you'll see the reason why in a little bit. We're just gonna sear it on both sides just for a minute or two. We're not gonna cook it all the way through, but we're gonna get the cooking process started. All right, the chicken breast has been seared on both sides. 
and we're gonna lay it on this uh, steak, all right? Now, here I have that ham steak. Now, these ham steaks are already cooked. They're either brined or they're, uh, they're smoked, and uh, so they're pretty much cooked. And I'm just gonna lay it down like that and just roll it. Simple enough, right? And to keep it together, we're gonna tie it. Now, uh, the method to the madness here is, uh, we know the uh, steak, the beef steak, will not take long to cook on the outside, right? And we layered that uh, partially cooked chicken on the inside, so that's gonna cook right away as well, all right? And then, of course, the ham, and the last layer there, is already pretty much pre-cooked. We just wanna bring that up to about 135 to 140 degrees internal on this roast, all right? Now, we're gonna use about three ties on this. You can go three, four, five ties, whatever you got time for. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, I don't really need to show you how to tie a roast, right? But, uh, Heck, I've got the time, and if you got the time, just kick back and relax, man. Because this is how it's done, simple enough. Now, if you want to do it fancy-like, yeah, you can do it any way you want. This here works. All right, now, we're going to take this roast, and we're going to place it in a black iron pan or a roasting pan. We're going to place it opposite the hot coals, all right? And we're going to slowly cook it about 300 to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. It's only going to take an hour, maybe two. We just add a little beer in there to keep the moisture level just up a bit. All right. Just kick back and relax. Just shooting the shit at the pit with the bros. Now that's what it's all about now, all right? Oh, yeah. All right, let's check on this roast, all right? And here to get some even cooking going on, I'm just gonna spin it around a bit. Man, look at that. It is looking good. All right. Do a little more basting every once in a while beef juices. Now about an hour and a half has gone by and uh, it may or may not take that long for you. It may take longer. All right. This is where you use that chef thermometer and uh, I'm going to check the internal temperature of this thing to get it to about 135, 140. Make sure that ham is heated on the inside. We know the uh, steak is done. We know the chicken's done. All right. Baste it one more time. Now we're gonna take it off the grill. And let it rest. Maybe about 20 minutes or so before we cut into it. Alright. Alright, it's time to cut this up. Take a look at that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Man. Can you smell that? It smells good. Let me cut another slice for you. This here is a barnyard roast at the pit definitely got to check this out. I say it's time to eat.
Take two. Go ahead. Go. Cut. So cut long. another meat. You guys cut took another so meat. Take two. Ready, go. Beep, 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 beep. go. You guys took so long. <laughs> yeah. Shit. All right. <laughs> cut another meat. Cut. Take cut. three. All right. Here we cut go. another meat. Take Ready? three. All right. Quiet on the set. Go. Wait, wait. Go. Boogie, boogie, boogie. <laughs> Love you, man. Take six. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your barbecue, you check out barbecuepitboys.com.